So now we've got our camera behavior, we've got our collision, uh, but we've got these kind of ugly level going on, right? Because I just stamped a couple of islands. So let's start by getting rid of those. And we are going to make some that look cooler. I'm just using the erase tool to do that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch over to now my custom tiles palette. And so this contains three types of tiles, and these are scriptable tiles. And the first one that we're going to look at is this grass platform rule tile. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select one of the tiles from this grass platform rule tile, and I'm going to start drawing. And what you'll see as I start drawing is that it will automatically detect as we update the tile map, it'll detect what type of tiles are there and it will add appropriate tiles to them, right? And you can see how quickly I'm doing this, right? Like, I just think that this is so cool. Now, you can see, right, here's a situation where we don't have perfect tiles to match, right? So you can kind of go as crazy as you want in terms of adding tiles, let's get rid of that one, that will suit every situation, right? In this case, I'll show you the rules for this. There's a, a certain number of tiles uh, that do different things, right? We'll just make a wall here. We're not gonna see that. We'll make a wall here. Um, can make like a little cave down there. Um, just make this not look so ugly. So as you can see, right? Just click, 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 click make a really cool level really fast. And so this is done using a rule tile. The rule tile is a scriptable tile written in C-sharp, right? You can open up the source code and play with it yourself. It's in the package, which is part of the 2D Extras pack, which is already installed in the project, or you can get from GitHub. So the let's take a look at what this looks like in the inspector. And in fact, let's move our tile palette up here for this time being. So what's going on here? So what we've got, we've got a default sprite, right? And then we have all of these tiling rules, right? And so what they are is every time the tile map is edited, right? Every time it updates, it's going to check, the tiles are going to check their neighbors and they're going to see, in this case of this horizontal segment here, is there something above me? No. Is there something to the left? Is there something to the right? If there is, and there's something below me, I'm gonna turn into this horizontal segment. If there's nothing to the left, but there is something to the right, I'm gonna turn into this kind of end cap piece, this guy here. Uh, if it's flipped, right, there's nothing above, but there's something uh, to the right, then I'm gonna turn into, let's see, oh, this doesn't, yeah, look, it's gotta have something below it. So this is expecting something below it. So here's an example, right, of I want to do, let's look at this. I want to do single uh, two things next to each other with nothing below, right? You see, if I put something below, it actually goes to the right tile, but I want that behavior to be part of this system, right? So what I'm going to do, even though I don't have a perfect sprite for it, I have this guy, which still has a hard bottom, but just to show you how we could add another rule. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and click the plus button and I'm gonna select the sprite that I want, which is this guy. Then I'm going to say, okay, if there is nothing above you and something to the right and nothing below you, then you should turn into this, but this hasn't gone right. Why is this? Oh, because I need to define this. And nothing here. There we go. So if there's only one piece to the right and, sorry, to the left, I cannot tell left from right. This is, I'm, I'm very old and I still can't tell left from right. If there's a tile to the left, but not one to the right, uh, then, and nothing above and below, then we'll turn into this tile. Now, the best case scenario would be we would make one with a little cutout so it looked better, right? But just as an example, Right? We can add new behaviors really easily just by hitting plus and then defining the sprite and its relationship uh, 
to the sprites nearby. And for those of you guys who are programmers, uh, you can just go ahead and open the source for this. I'm not gonna get into the scripting, but just to kind of show you that I'm not lying, uh, this is just a C-sharp script and it's not that complicated, you know? And this even has, I think, some support for, yeah, some support for randomness in it and animation and other stuff that you could do without, right? If you wanted to. So really, really cool opportunity there for writing your own types of tiles, right? This inherits from tile base. Um, and there's some information in the documentation, which I can link you to, uh, if you're curious about that. So really, really cool, uh, creative possibilities here, really only limited by your ability to think up rules and to create sprites, uh, to match. So now that we've seen how we can draw platforms using rule tiles, the next thing that we're going to look at is some of the other, uh, scriptable tiles that we have, which are the grass tile and the waterfall tile. And we'll also look at using multiple tile maps and sorting layers between them. And we'll do that in the next segment. Oscar Uzo asks, will this be added inside Unity or will it live on GitHub? For now, it's living on GitHub. Uh, there's gonna come a time in the future where there, the, our way of interacting with outside packages is gonna change and there will be better UI for it. As you can tell right now, there's stuff on the asset store and stuff on GitHub and various other places. So it's a little scattered at the moment, but that is gonna change in the near future. Uh, but right now it works better for us to be able to release stuff quickly on GitHub or the asset store in individual places, as opposed to having everybody have to wait to get their stuff into the next big release. So this is a way for us to kind of keep up velocity and keep getting stuff out to you quickly by releasing through these other channels. Haim96 asks, can you draw tile maps in runtime? Yes, yes, you can. You can do all this via script. 